We've had sex twice and it was lousy both times. Mm. You're an asshole. Oh, you're an asshole. You're not supposed to call girls assholes. You're not. You're the biggest asshole I've ever met in my life. You're weird. You're boring. Asshole. Taxi. <laughs> so how old are you anyway? 36. You look older. Really? Really? Do you color your hair? Of course not. I have too much respect for myself. And for you, by the way. So you're an actor and songwriter? Sort of. Do you sing your own songs? When I record them. Can you sing one for me? No. And finally, I realized that it's because girls don't like sex, dude. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking about moving to New York. Why? Because I'm not accomplishing anything and I'm in a rut. So, who isn't? The ad said it was roomy and got a lot of light. I was talking about the apartment, not the room. This room? There are mushrooms growing in the corners. Hello? Are you interested? Yeah. What's that? Are you interested in fellowship? Uh, nah, fellowship sort of bores me. You know, I always want to tell the priest to shut up. Well, this church has a great choir with great songs. Yeah, but what good is a choir if they don't tell the priest to shut up? What do they say that bothers you so much? Well, it's not what they say, it's what they don't say. You know, if they told you the truth, they'd be out of business. Look, why don't you give me a phone number? I'll give you a call So sometime. you don't believe in religion? Sure I do. I believe that religion is like trying to decide which umbrella to carry to a tornado. Well, this is non-denominational. Yeah, that means they'll take your money in any denomination. Look, uh, why don't you give me a phone number? So you don't think people should go to church? People can go to church if they like. What the hell do I care? You don't have faith? Listen, darling, I've got so much faith it's driving me nuts. Look, it's 315. Why don't you give me a damn phone number? I'll give you a call sometime. Why don't you give me your number and I'll call you? No, you won't. But it was nice talking to you. I like your mittens. Cheerio! Uh, I've been cast in a show. We have to meet at some girl's house so uh, she can read it before she agrees to do it. Why does she need you there to read it? I don't know. She sounds like a bitch. Yeah, well, I guess you should know. Hey, I'm going to Milwaukee for a week. I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh, can I help you pack? Hello. Have you been working on your lines? Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I couldn't help noticing your ass as I arrived. It's amazingly... You have no idea how much I paid my train to get it this way. <laughs> well, it looks like it was money well spent. <laughs> well, uh, we're early. Here, let me put this down so you don't mess up your expensive ass. Thank you. So, how is your roommate? She's fine. Should we work on our lines? Is she a girlfriend? <laughs> no. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Why not? Um, I can't afford one. You don't like girls, do you? Well, does anybody really like girls? I mean, I know girls who don't like girls, and you know, those are some of my favorite girls. Oh, you mean do I have sex with girls? Do you? Well, yeah, but you know, somebody has to. What's your sign? Uh, you know what? It's time to get going. I think we accomplished a lot here. Now come on, what's your sign? I'm a sign of the times. Do you ever watch that thing? Shut up, Franco! We're ready to come back from five. We're shooting rehearsal in six minutes! So, you like kids? <laughs> yeah, I like kids. You know, I like giraffes too, but I don't want one hanging around all the time. So you don't want to have kids? Mm -hmm. What are you guys talking about? Um, we were talking about having kids. I want 15, but she only wants 12, so... I thought you had a boyfriend in Italy. I, I do. I, I have a boyfriend in Italy. So, do you want to have children? Um, not at the moment, but... 
you know, thanks for asking. So, which way are you going? Well, that depends. If, uh, if you're going that way, I'm going this way. And if you're going this way, I'm going that way. You hate me, don't you? Just a little bit. Okay, you want to go somewhere and have lunch? in clubs and shows, but it only paid like 50 bucks. Huh. I can be had for cheap. Well, I'm hoping it could be had for free. What do you mean by that? I mean exactly what you think I mean by that. Well, we'll have to get a condom. I think I may have one here in my bag. <laughs> do you always carry condoms with you? No, but you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Here you go. Well, let's go. I haven't done this in years. So, what do you do for a living? I'm a waiter. Oh. I think I would make a good waitress. I would make big tips. I think you have some blood on your face. Oh, I just squeezed a pimple. A what? A pimple. A pimple? Mm-hmm. I think I have some bio. <laughs> there is no one I would rather be doing this showcase with than you. I know. You'll miss me when it's through. You're like no other guys. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to play that part. It looks like she should be attracted to him. Mm -hmm. He's a hot guy, mm -hmm. she's a girl. What do you think? Well, it seems to me that they're attracted no, to each other. She's supposed to be a messenger from God. So it could just as easily be a guy. Actually, it would make more sense if it was a guy. What do you think? Well, I think my character's having a no, spiritual... No, but they're holding hands. They're attracted to each other. No? Well, I think the dialogue suggests but that they Could did you shut go? the fuck up for just a minute? You know, it's a uh, scene about two lonely people, and even if they are doomed, the scene can only be more interesting if they're attracted to each other. Period. You're right. Oh. What happened to the apple? I ate it. You are not supposed to eat the whole thing. I'm not. Excuse me, do you sell tarot cards here? Right there. Thank you. I want you to know that these are for entertainment reasons only and not for purposes of divination or because of a belief in the occult. Great. 1190.